Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Wine on your Mac operating system. So those of you who don't know what is Wine, Wine is a tool using which you can install Windows apps or programs on your Mac operating system or on your Linux operating system. So let's see how we can install Wine. So when you go to your favorite browser and search for Wine HQ, which is the official website for Wine, you will see the procedure of installing Wine on your Mac operating system. So when you are on winehq.org website, you can see this download uh, link. And then when you scroll down, you can see this option which says Mac OS. So I'm going to click on this option. And you can see this website uh, uses Brew to install Wine. But I'm not going to use this method of installing Wine. I'm going to give you a separate method using which you can also install Wine on your Mac operating system which support Apple Silicon chips like M1, M2 or M3. So for this, you need to open this URL. So I'm going to put this URL in the description of this video. So basically this GitHub project contains the Wine builds for Mac operating system. So as I said, I'm going to give you the link uh, so you can directly come to this web page. If you want, you can read about the dependencies and requirements here. Just scroll down a little where you will see the latest builds. So here are the latest builds for your Mac operating system. Here you will be able to see three type of links. One is the Wine Devel for the Wine development version. Second one is the Wine Stable. And third one is the Wine Staging. We are going to download the stable version of Wine, which is this second option, which says Wine hyphen stable 9.0 just click on this link which is going to download this tar.gz file this is around 171 megabyte file so it's going to be downloaded really fast so just wait for this and once this tar.gz file is downloaded just click on this file which is going to extract this file so just wait for the extraction to finish so once this uh, wine stable binary or application is extracted, it's going to look like this. So the kind here is application after the extraction. So you can directly just drag and drop this uh, wine stable file in your applications folder. What you need to do if you're using your MacBook and your trackpad, just select your uh, wine stable application which shows this wine uh, in a glass icon, press command key and then drag and drop this into your applications folder. Okay, so I'm going to just drag and drop this uh, wine application into my applications folder. I'm going to just uh, leave it on my application folder, which is going to copy this file into my applications folder. Then I'm going to go to my applications folder and here I will be able to find my wine stable application file. You can also click on launch pad and here you can search for wine stable once you drag and drop this application into your applications folder. Just click on wine stable here and let me minimize this and it's going to show you this kind of uh, Warning, which says allowing control will provide the access to your documents and data in terminal. I'm going to click on OK here. And it's going to open this kind of terminal. And you will see this kind of output here. I can close this terminal. Okay, so you just need to do this once. And once that's done, we will be able to install any executable on our Mac operating system using Wine. So let's install some executable file. I'm going to uh, demo the Notepad++ uh, executable file. So I'm going to search for Notepad++. This Notepad++ is very popular among Windows users, but you can't install it directly on Linux or your Mac operating system because it's only a Windows-based program, right? So I'm going to go inside this Notepad++ uh, website and then click on the latest uh, 
download link and then I'm going to click on this installer link here. So just click on installer which is going to start the download of this exe file. Once this exe file is downloaded you can see this exe file looks like this and because we already ran our wine application you can see the type here is wine right so just go to your exe file and right click on it and then click on open with and then you will see this option which says wine stable so i'm going to click on this uh, option here and then let me minimize my uh, browser and once you click on uh, the wine stable option you will see this kind of uh, window which says uh, wine stable would like to access files in your downloads folder i'm going to click on okay and then it's going to ask me once again for my permission to create shortcut i'm going to click on okay and then once again okay and just wait for a few seconds and you can see the installation of notepad plus plus has been started on my mac operating system remember this is an executable file right first of all i can choose the language which is english click on ok and then click on next and then click on i agree and then this will be the location where wine will be installed click on next and then click on next so i'm going to just check this checkbox and then click on install which is going to start the installation and you can see it's going to create this kind of entry on your desktop right also it says uh, run notepad plus plus so just leave this checkbox as checked and then click on finish which is going to launch notepad plus plus so this is how you can install wine and run your executable file on your mac operating system i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video